Joining us now is Dr. Louisa Petrie, a board certified cardiologist and nutrition expert. So doctor, I'm glad to have you on today because this conversation was just kind of taking place last night. And I guess that I always assumed that the economy was kind of tied in with mental health, especially physical health too. I mean, your ability to go get medical care, anything like that. Is this a real thing? Is this something that uh, exists or am I being wrong to say that? Well, we're going through difficult times right now, and uh, it's hard to be confined to home and kind of be able to survive in a sense of uh, keep healthy, exercise, uh, stick to your routines. So we're going through challenging times right now. Yeah, and so regarding that too, I mean, a lot of people are being asked to stay indoors, uh, do things that are kind of blocking things that they would do to their normal day life. So does mental health now kind of play a factor regarding this too, when people have to stay in, in addition to physical health? Absolutely, mental health is number one when it relates to uh, general health. First of all, we all go for the anxiety and stress of being home contained, and that's something difficult to fight. So when it comes to anxiety and uh, PTSD, we all have to go for this. And, men, and health is related to that. So these are challenging times for all of, all of us. So when it comes to someone, for example, who's on lockdown, they have been maybe for the past week, maybe two weeks, and they kind of see the prospect of doing that until Easter. That's what the president says, where things may once again open. What advice do you have for people who may be dealing with that over the long term and are kind of looking to make sure that they stay mentally healthy? There are a few challenges on many levels. First of all, staying mentally healthy, this is number one priority. It's the anxiety and watching news, it's kind of taking all of us mm -hmm. down. So uh, we need to kind of cope with that. Try to keep your sanity. You know, turn your TV down as much as you can. Watch the news only for a few hours a day. Stay informed as much as you need. But if you can, go out for a few hours a day. If you are not in a lockdown area and if you're allowed to at least go jog, jog go for hiking, uh, keep in touch with your friends, uh, keep some music in the background. These are very important things we can do to keep our anxiety levels down. I think that's a good point because it's worth mentioning too that if you're not in a place that has a strict lockdown measure, meaning you can't go outside at all, there's very few of those in the country right now. Officials are saying that you can go outside. You can walk your dog. You can go for a walk by yourself. You can go on a jog. And those are ways to kind of stay healthy within themselves. So I think that's something that's going to be very important, not only for physical health, but also for the mental health, as you were saying. But I do want to talk about too, as from a more preventative standpoint, uh, exercising, uh, doing stuff like that, staying active is also good to stay healthy before you get sick. Can you speak a little bit about why it's uh, important to kind of keep your health up in order to kind of build up your immune system before something like this hits? We do know that exercise is one of the most important things that relate to uh, physical health. And we're, when we are confined to home, that's kind of hard to uh, keep up to. But even I live in New York, so I still can go out in Central Park and exercise for half an hour a day, as long as you keep your social distance, like that means six feet away from the other people, I still go, can go for a jog or a, a whatever walk. But if you're home, we have to kind of be resourceful. I ordered my stepper. That's something like I paid $50 for, so I can exercise on uh, one, two hours a day. Uh, also, I joined an online exercise program that goes for $10 a month. Mm. So I'm trying to be creative and keep up with my activity. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are making fun of that Peloton ad a couple of weeks ago who are now wishing that they bought one. I mean, it seems like this is a time where you would need an indoor bike or something like that. But as far as dieting goes, too, it's we've seen people rush out to the stores, kind of panic buy, as they say. I mean, we've seen the viral videos regarding toilet paper, but there's also food shortages right now, too. So when you are locked inside, when you're kind of staying indoors, kind of staying away from society, what type of dietary type of uh, measures should people be taking? Should they be kind of eating as they normally would? would be? Should they be avoiding kind of those more junk foods, stuff like that? What should they be doing? That's another challenge we face because we are kind of stuck uh, to uh, uh, non-perishable foods and uh, foods that can last longer. But go for 
things that are rich in vitamin C and vitamin D. And let's look at apple and apples and oranges. They can last longer. You, they don't have to um, keep your refrigerator busy. Also, you have to look at the foods that are rich in uh, uh, fish oil uh, like z uh, and zinc, like um, um, seeds, nuts, uh, healthy uh, mm. oil, uh, healthy fats like uh, avocado and uh, fish oil. And so before I let you go too, because there's a lot of people that are going through this right now and they may be going through it for at least another two weeks. What's your last bit of piece of advice for them? People who may be scared during this time or just want some advice to kind of get them through from a public health standpoint, what can they be doing? I think altogether, number one is cut down your stress, cut down your anxiety. Just uh, watch uh, TV for a limited time a day, limit your anxiety and kind of resource to your friends. And when it comes to uh, um, survival um, and how much you uh, resource to your friends, number one is how much you are connected to your friends, social engagement, be in touch with your friends. So I think this is number one. Number two, be resourceful. You are stuck to your home, kind of eat the right foods and exercise as much as you can. So it, that's as much as you can do at this point. No, I think it's all good advice and something that people can take with them. I mean, even if you're indoors right now, it's good to get out, be active, try to live your life the best you can, even though we're in a time where they're telling you to do anything but. But Dr. Petrie, I really appreciate you coming on right now and kind of walking us through this during this time. Thank you.